Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Myers and today we're going to be doing a landscape design in art. So if you would get your materials, we need pencil, a sharpie, your 9 by 12 white paper, your watercolors and brushes, and water and probably a paper towel. And maybe you can get some discarded uh, newspaper or something for your table so you can protect the surface. Okay, you go ahead and get your materials and I'll angle the camera. So we're going to do three sections. We're going to do the ocean at the bottom. The middle section is going to be land, and then we're going to do a sunset sky. So I'm going to use a Sharpie so you can see my designs better, but you go ahead and start with a pencil to make sure you like your lines, and if you don't, you can erase, and then you can go over them with your Sharpie, okay? So starting at the bottom, we're going to make some waves, and we start out with a little hill and a curl. So I'm going to start on the left. I'm going to make a little hill and then a curl. And then again, starting from attaching that line to this one that you just did, a little hill and a curl. One more, a little hill and a curl. Okay, and then go back to the curl and follow that shape and make that wave a little bit thicker like this and like this, okay? And on this bottom, we wanna make some wavy lines, but not all straight across. We're gonna start at the left again. We're gonna wave it and come to the edge of the paper and then start somewhere maybe in the middle of that first line, and wave it, and again come down to the bottom of a page. Again, start in the middle of that line you just made, wave it, and come down to the bottom. If you have a lot of space in between here, then I would just continue and make another line. I'm gonna make a few more right here. Okay, there we go. All right, there's our water, and now we're gonna make our land. So, starting up over here, on your left, you're gonna make a hill. Come down, skip over your wave, and come down again, okay? And then starting somewhere, maybe the middle of your hill, or a little bit three quarters of the way over, Make a second one, and again, jump over your wave, and then a last one. All right, and then after these three hills, we're going to put the sun that's going down. So we don't see all of the sun, but we see a good part of it, and that's going to be a very rounded, think of a whole circle, and you're going to make just a section of it. So start over on the hill that's on your left, sort of in the middle of that hill, and we're gonna try and make a nice big round sun. That's not seen all the way, okay? And then in the middle of your sun, up at the top, make a line straight up from the middle of your sun, straight up, to the top and the edge of the page. And then about three finger spaces from that line, make another line starting at your sun, and you're gonna go straight up, straight up. Okay, three finger spaces again, another line, straight to the edge of the paper, okay? And then again on the other side, three finger spaces, 
straight to the edge of the paper. Make it as straight as you can. Three finger spaces. Make it as straight as you can. Okay. Now, if you happen to have some black glue, you can go over these black lines with black glue, let it totally dry. I would wait till the next day before you watercolor it. If you don't have black glue, that's not a problem. You'll still get a really nice effect. Just go ahead and use your watercolor. So we wanna start with the sun and we're gonna make that as bright, kind of an orangey, an orangey red. So you're gonna start with your lighter orange and you're gonna mix this in your tray because you don't want it a bright red, you want it to have a little bit of a tinge of orange to it. And then put your red in there. Get it a nice, warm, bright, orangey red. Okay, go ahead and put that on. And if you feel it's too light, you know what to do. Dry your brush a little bit and use much more color. Okay. that orangey red all along the lines. Mine's getting a little light. I want to get more, more of this orangey red going here. And if you still feel it's too light, go ahead and go over it with more color and less water. Make sure you stay within your lines. There's your bright sun. Okay. Now we want that to have a chance to dry a little bit before we do any sections of a different color next to this section. So we're gonna go down to the ocean part. Now each section should be a different shade of blue. So pick your favorite blue that you want first. I'll just pick any one here, kind of a bright blue. And I'm going to watercolor in my first section. And then I'm gonna keep the same shade of blue on my brush as I fill in other sections that are not next to that one. Okay, because we wanna get those different shades in there. So we, we don't wanna overlap any of them close together that have the same shade. So I'm going to a different section and whatever is enclosed by your lines is your section that you're going to do. Okay, This one seems lighter. I'm going to darken it up again. Okay. okay, keep that same blue color on your brush. Pick another section. Okay, here's one right here. That's not touching the one I just finished. And maybe you want the same color, shade of blue, to be on one of your waves. I'm going to have it be on this middle wave. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to continue mine. Um, you get the idea of what to do with the different shades of blue in each section of water. I'll just do one more so you can see the difference, the contrast. So now I'm gonna really take a kind of a greenish blue. I'm gonna make up a little bit of a greenish blue. Let's see. And you can experiment with this. See the color that you're blending in your tray? See if you like it when you are happy with it. Make sure you make enough of it and then start water coloring. Okay, I'm gonna put this one right here. See how that's kind of a greenish, more of a greenish tinge to it. And again, don't wash your brush out until you've done more sections of that second shade of blue, bluish green. When you 
you've done all your different shades of blues for the water then go ahead and move on to the top part of the page so that this gets a chance to dry your water blue colors okay and on these different sections the rays of sun we're going to do different shades of warm yellows yellow oranges so start out with your yellow yellow first and then you're gonna repeat in different sections so I'm going to start out right here with a nice yellow okay I'm going to count my sections and see how many times I can repeat this yellow I have one two three four five six so I'm going to call this area one two three and one two three so here's another one like this one I'm going to have the sections repeat. So this is another yellow, like my first section one. Okay. And now my next section, I want it yellowish, but with a little tinge of orange. So I'm going to yellow in my tray. Start out with your lightest color, which is the yellow, and then you want to darken it up with a little orange. I'm just going to tap into a little bit of orange here. I don't want it so orangey. I still want it in the yellow tinge more than orange. Okay, here we go. And if it's not quite what you want, you know how to experiment and make it what you like. Okay. Okay, so that's my second space. So I'm going to go one, two, three. One, two. Two is my orangish one. I'm going to repeat it over here. And you can certainly have each one of these sections of ray of sun be a different shade. It's just a little bit harder to do if you want six different shades rather than three. Okay. And if it looks too similar to your the one that's next to it, just darken it up a bit. Experiment with that. Okay. Now that we've done that one, you can go to your third section. But since you probably get the idea now, I'm going to go to the land part. Okay. And I think I want some more detail on my land part. So on my land part, I'm going to make it sort of like we did once before. It looks like a planted field. So I'm going to add some sections and again you have to skip over your waves remember which part is your land and which part is the water so you want to skip over those waves as you're making your details okay and this one's going to be going a different direction over those waves, jump over. Okay, and this one's going to start on this other right hand side. And I'm going to make each hillside a different shade of green okay so let's start out with one of them let's see I'm gonna start out with kind of a darker one I'm gonna darken it up a bit so I'm putting some green and then I'm gonna tap into my 
a little bit of black, not much. I want it a little darker. There we go. Okay, so here's my land. My first hill. Okay, be careful to remember where your hill is and which part it's your water. So only get the hill part green and only the first hill because you're going to switch and change up the green for your next hill. That's not green enough. I would like some more green here. There we go. Okay. this section to dry a little bit before you start to move into the next hill so that your colors don't mix into the, each other if they're too close. Okay, So you get the idea. Okay, you're going to do this one a different shade of green and this other one a third shade of green. And then alternate because now I just finished this hill. I'm, I'm going to wait to do that hill. I might do this one because it's not so close to that one, and that one will have a chance to dry. Okay, I'm not going to take your time and do the entire thing, but you can see one that I completed. I'll show you that. This one dried already. So here's what it sort of looks like when it's all done. All right. I hope you have fun making this one. And I hope yours turns out beautifully. And I just want to say thanks to all of you for joining me for art this school year. And this will be my last art project for the year. But I probably will see you on campus at, on school grounds next school year because I'll be picking up my grandchildren, Sienna and Ryder will start kindergarten. So if you see me, please come say hello. I'd love to talk to you. Have a wonderful summer. Hope you enjoyed art. Bye.